I used to work with the uh, uh, U.S. Embassy mission and U.S. forces for almost nine years. Very dangerous, especially in Iraq. And every day we face in different kind of dangerous bombing, car bombing, ambushes. Uh, one of these, uh, on one of these ambushes, I get shot in my head, but I wearing a helmet at that time, and I have another one in my back too from the car bomb. Um, so it's very, it's very dangerous. It's very tough work, and actually we work into helping our country build new power plants and stuff. But the people cannot understand the tourists. They can't. They cannot understand. They think because you're working with the American, you should be killed. They make two programs specifically for Iraqi people and the Afghani people who used to work with the U.S. forces in Iraq and helping the U.S. governments. They give them the privilege to move to United States after they finish their work, if they work in at least one year or more. <laughs> it's a big move and it's a big decision hard to make and we have to decide it are we gonna leave really we're gonna left all this here behind can we make it the other thing we just keep thinking are we gonna be accepted in the new life are the people gonna accept us like refugees uh, like maybe Muslims. We know nothing about the new community, the new life, and we are not sure that uh, the people gonna welcome us or they gonna accept us. <laughs> the most important thing was uh, the kids enrolling the school and how gonna they accept them at schools here, but they really did it great. I was really happy for the first day, cause like when I was standing in line waiting for the bell to ring, everybody came up to me and asked me if like I need some help. I felt better. <laughs> what are you even making? I'm in Fairmont Junior High School. Uh, I'm ninth grader. Um, I, I like my school so much. I like my teachers. Um, my counselors, uh, they helped me and they, su they supported me. My favorite classes is uh, math. I like math because uh, in Baghdad, it was really hard to study math. So now it's easier to solve problems. <laughs> it's so different from here. Like here, when it's like cold outside, there like you can get warm when you go in that classroom. But in my school, in my country, like some classes, like the doors are broken. But I think I like the schools here better. Like. I don't know, I feel more safe. When we got our visa, I was out of France, and when I got home, I, I found out everyone was happy, and my dad told me we just got our visa, and that's the best feelings ever. Like, okay, now you're gonna be in different country, different community. It was happiness and sadness. Happiness because I'm gonna survive, and to leave my country and start a new life, better life. And the saddest thing is I'm gonna miss the rest of my family and miss my friends that I spent my whole 18 years with. So it's not an easy thing. When we reach Boise uh, airport and we seen a bunch of people waiting for us, I start crying. Yeah. And I believe this is the first day of my life again. Seeing a bunch of people with some signs, welcome. Mm. And we seen our sponsors, and then we seen the Agency for New Americans. They drive me to the restaurant. They said, you have to take the lunch. It's the best lunch, the first lunch in the United States. Mm -hmm. And then we find out ourselves, and everything is arranged with mm. apartment, and everything is set. They working hard for us, actually, the Agency for New Americans. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm doing good, thank you. Good, what can I do for you? My name is Saeed Lazawi. 
uh, and I have an appointment. The Agency for New Americans is um, one of two resettlement agencies in Boise. We provide initial services, case management, employment services, um, limited refugee cash assistance program, immigration services for the first year of refugees being in the United States. That means um, our case managers, welcome our clients at the airport, help them find the housing, enroll them in initial services. Do you want some shampoo for the kids? Help them connect with resources in community, enroll them in classes. And then when after a year, we actually can provide extended services for clients up to five years being in the United States. Hi, you. How are, yeah, how are you? Good, Good to, to see, see you. you. In the beginning, when we first moved uh, here to Boise, uh, you know, we should go to, um, to establish our medical files in the Family Medicine Health Center. We met Janie. She's uh, the coordinator uh, with the refugees. She talked with us and she noticed that I have like good English skills and she asked me uh, to join the uh, medical terms course to be like a medical interpreter. She wants you to, to read the instructions. Okay. I will interpret for sure, her and absolutely. she has to write down like notes. Now I'm working both in KA Health Services and the Family Medicine Health Center. I couldn't find anything for engineering, especially civil engineering. And this is a part for the global talent. Hey, Sage. Hello, Ashley. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good to see you. They start to evaluate my degrees, rebuild my resumes, and they make an cover letters because it's different, totally different than that I know in my country. Global Talent Idaho was started about three years ago because people working in refugee employment kept seeing so many highly skilled and educated refugees coming into Boise and getting stuck in low-wage jobs. My vision for Saeed is that he finds a job that fully utilizes his many skills as a civil engineer, as a project manager, as somebody who has years of experience working alongside the U.S. military doing this kind of work. He would bring so much value to an employer in Boise. I work with the securities. Right now I work in John. It's a nice place. The people are very nice. At this time also I'm looking for a good job while I get my certificate evaluated. Maybe I will find something good matching my abilities after that and power plants and civil engineering. It will be so nice. Still I'm I'm on the first stage. No surrender. I believe it's worth it for my family because my concern is my family number number one for me, my wife and my kids. Now I can sleep during the night without thinking about the future for my son. He will get killed tomorrow. He will get kidnapped tomorrow. Now I can sleep because I believe he's gonna be in a secure hand over here and it's a bright future waiting for them. Boise Habibati! We love you, Boise! Yeah, say it! <laughs> say it! Hi, I'm going to play television. Hi, in home. Karam, Omar, Zina, Said, Al Zawi family. family.